a short pass can be, can be as good as a run, uh, but I think there's there's bigger there's a bigger picture uh, as well that you have to keep in mind. With that. Why the Buffalo Bills short passing game is no replacement for running the ball. What's Sean McDermott's big picture in regards to the short passing game replacing running the ball? Hey Bills Mafia, welcome to my channel, Bills News Consolidated, and today I want to discuss the talk within Bills Mafia right now as to whether or not the Buffalo Bills even need to run the ball. A lot of bickering going on with fans asking where this running attack is, and there is a lot of concern within Bills Mafia right now, the concern of some fans saying like we cannot run the football and then other fans saying like we don't need to run the football because we have Josh Allen in this short passing game. The new addition of Aaron Cromer in this new running attack and Ken Dorsey speaking about evolving this offense but we have yet to see Josh Allen under center really running the football. Josh Allen leads the Buffalo Bills as the leading rusher so far. And as you heard Sean McDermott say there's a bigger picture that we have in mind. There's, bigger, there's a bigger picture. In today's video we are going to settle the debate and show you exactly why we still need to establish a run game. Josh Allen has the most rushing yards on the Buffalo Bills, more so than Devin Singletary and any other running back. The first point is the longevity of Josh Allen, preserving our future, our franchise, Josh Allen, not making him have to run the ball in order to have a successful run game. major thing to understand here is what the Buffalo Bills are ultimately doing. Josh Allen in shotgun, the RPO, the run pass option. What makes our RPO, the run pass option successful is the ability to run it. Josh Allen is keeping the RPO alive for the Bills because we really aren't a threat handing the ball off to Devin Singletary, but the threat of Josh Allen keeping it and running it opens things up. There's a reason they say defense wins championships, so let's start with the defense and understand the NFL's four philosophies that are known across the league. There's four defensive philosophies that the entire NFL has adopted, and the first is stopping the run. This has always been a priority for defenses, forcing offenses to become one-dimensional. Playing a defense that's one-dimensional is much easier. And then also giving up no big explosive plays. People know that big explosive plays decide games. The saying nothing over the top has been the mantra forever because over the top big explosive plays means giving up points. Next is just the philosophy of rallying and flying around the football, creating plays, popping out the football. The goal is to blow up the ball carrier and get him to the ground as quickly and as efficiently as possible. You don't have to hurt the guy, but absolutely blowing up the runner to punish everyone with the ball makes the job of the offense completely miserable. And the next philosophy are turnovers, winning turnovers, forcing takeaways. We know that turnovers decide games and we could take it a little bit further looking at Sean McDermott's specific defense always having a chance to break on the football. Keeping the ball carrier and the ball in front of you gives the defense a chance to create mayhem for the offense. If a ball carrier or person gets behind you, chasing someone from behind is harder to make a play on the ball. The offensive philosophies really stem from what defenses are ultimately trying to do. So let's get into these four offensive philosophies that are used in standard across the NFL. Naturally, it's always been that NFL teams want to run the ball. And in offense that has been known to run the ball has a significant advantage over the defense and this will help the offense win. Establishing the run first and foremost because that is going to open up the most explosive plays. We know explosive plays decide games so offenses are trying to hit on as many explosive plays as possible to score as many points as they can. And on defense as mentioned you have a great way to break on that football and blow up the carrier. More hits on a ball carrier the more chances of a fumble. We know it's it's all about that ball. Offenses in the turnover battle wins the game. So you have to believe that the better offense is going to have to take care of the ball. A punt is not a bad play. It's a neutral play. A pick or a fumble is a bad play. And this needs to be minimized. Naturally in the NFL, we see high volume, short passing offenses struggle to run the ball, especially when they need to run the ball. And the reason for that is because teams know that they are most likely going to pass it. Passing the football successfully really should 
should help open up the running game and vice versa. The run game should help open up the pass. High volume, short passing offenses struggle to win the turnover battle. Throwing 63 times against the Baltimore Ravens is not a good recipe for success and it also increases the chances for the defense. The defense only has to be right once or twice to completely change the game. And we did see that against the Ravens. Three batted balls at the line of scrimmage almost resulted in three interceptions for Allen. And keep in mind the high volume short passing game really only works when you have an elite quarterback such as Josh Allen at the helm. If Case Keenum comes into the game, I don't know how well this offense would perform. God forbid Josh Allen goes down and we have no running attack. We now know that defensive and offensive philosophies are two sides of the same coin. Now, believing that running the ball, getting explosive plays, and winning the turnover margin decide every single football game. On defense, we look at stopping the run, stopping explosive plays, and forcing the offense into situations where they are prone to giveaways. On offense, we look Look at establishing the run, hitting explosive plays, and protecting the ball by avoiding situations that put the ball at undue risk. Living in Buffalo and knowing that we're building this new outdoor open air stadium, we are going to be dealing with weather conditions, snowy, cold, windy, rainy when we go away to games. Throwing the ball in these situations is much harder than just handing it off to the running back. So to say this short passing game can be an extension of the run game is just completely not true. You still have have to have the threat of running the football, especially when Josh Allen is back there without having a threat of actually handing off the football to the running back, defenses get used to playing the pass. The threat of running it actually opens up creases in the passing game. Fortunately, Josh Allen is able to run with the football, but again, we are concerned about the longevity and health of Josh Allen doing that. Statistically speaking, across the NFL, running the ball is much safer, limiting the turnovers, which we all know loses your games. Using the spread offense and Josh Allen's fastest ball to target ever recorded, I'm not saying to take away the short, high volume passing game, getting the ball out quickly to our playmakers is a great element for this offense, but we still need to establish the threat of running the football. Countless times in the short passing game where the ball gets tipped at the line of scrimmage, or maybe the ball gets almost caught by the wide receiver, but it pops up for an interception. All those things are eliminated by just handing off the football to a running back. So let me know in the comments below, do you agree with me that the Buffalo Bills still need to establish a run game? Or do you think that the short passing game for the Buffalo Bills will be long-term successful and that we should just forego even trying to run the ball? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe for future content. I'm releasing long form, short form, going live during games, just making it a party here at BNC. Let's go Bills. Peace.